just same as singly linked list but the difference is what here the last node of circular linked list will contain address of its first node here 200 would be stored in singly linked list here we will store null right and in that video we have maintained only head pointer so now the problem is if i want to insert a node at beginning in circular linked list now suppose i want to insert a node i have created a node right this and i want uh, the data is 6 here i have inserted 0 and the address of this node is suppose 500 so i have created a new node pointer and this pointer is containing this address 500 now i want to store this address at the beginning sorry this node at the beginning what you have to do for inserting it at the beginning first thing you have to update this link here you will store this 200 right so now it, it is going to point here plus second thing that you will have to update this head pointer now head will contain this address 500 because this is going to be the first node so here you will store 500 so now this link would be broken and now head would point here plus third thing you have to update what see the last node in circular link, link list will contain address of the first node and after inserting new node this would be the first node so you have to update this pointer also now in this pointer you will store what address of this node that is 500 but now the problem is see you can access this part easily you can access this part because uh, this node is having a pointer new node so using new node we can access this part because we cannot directly access the structure members as you uh, know now how you can access this part have we any pointer pointing to this node no we don't have so how we can access this part how we can reach till this part till this address 400 because we have only two pointers head head is having address this head is pointing to this node and one pointer is new node new node is pointing to this node we cannot reach till this node directly so now what you have to do you have one solution you have to traverse this this list till here right before updating these links what you will do how to traverse that thing we have discussed in the previous video we are going to take a temp pointer temp will point to here then temp is equal to temp next temp is equal to temp next and we are going to stop here once we reach here the condition is what here we have what temp next becomes that equal to head because here we have not the condition null condition termination condition we have what termination condition is what this next is containing what the address of the head if next is containing address of the head it means this is the last node so now here we are going to stop and here we are going we are going to have a pointer that is temp after that we can we can easily access this part that is temp next is equal to new node right this is the solution another solution is what when we are creating a circular link list we can maintain a tail pointer also right and how to maintain a tail pointer as well as a head pointer that we have discussed when we were creating a double a link list the link for that video also i'll provide you here in the side button you can check out there right so in this video we will see how to create this link list and maintaining both head pointer and tail pointer at starting only if we maintain this tail pointer means tail would contain 400 so for inserting this no need to traverse this list we can directly access this part that is tail next tail next is equal to new node and now this this node is pointing to this node and that is fine now another thing is one interesting point about circular uh, link list is what there is no need to maintain this head pointer you can maintain only the tail pointer that is also fine right and how we can create the list only maintaining this tail pointer that for that thing the code i'll discuss in this video only fine and after that we will discuss in the next video how to insert data in circular linked list only by maintaining this tail pointer as well as both head and tail now we will see how to create a circular linked list right and we both uh, will maintain both head pointer and tail pointer right we have discussed how to create a circular link list in the previous video also but in that video i have maintained only the head pointer now in this video see i guess everybody knows this coding because we have discussed many times this coding 
how to uh, represent this node of a circular linked list obviously the we will define our own data type that is struct node structure using a structure that is keyword and this is a tag two parts are there int data the data type of this is int and this is a pointer to the next node so we are taking a pointer that is next and this will point to next node right so and data type of that node is struct node that is why here i am writing struct node so you can say it is a pointer to node we have we are having two pointers head and tail right now void creates uh, we, are, we are having a function that is create cll and we are going to define this function now for inserting initially we assume that list is empty we don't have anything in the list it, it means head is having zero and you can say tail is also having zero but that is fine if head is equal to zero means no node is there in the list now to insert the node first of all you have to create that node you have to you know allocate the memory to that node and we will use what dynamic memory allocation in the linked list right why we are using dynamic memory allocation that thing also we have discussed when we were discussing introduction to linked list you can check out this video now how to use malloc function in c we are using malloc function here you will write size of struct node the data type is struct node this memory for this node i want memory so how much memory would be allocated four for this and four bytes for this that is eight bytes would be allocated right and address of the first byte is 200 so malloc will return what it is 200 so malloc is going to return a void pointer but here this pointer is new node pointer is what it is a pointer to node so we have to typecast this thing so typecasting means struct node s3 we will write in the bracket and here whatever this will return it will store here in this new node and we have we have asked from the user which data i want to insert suppose a user has entered seven how you can access this part how you can store seven here address of new node because pointer to this node is new node pointer new node and data part and here i have stored null now i will insert this part this node in the list right now you will see what initially list is empty so we will write what if head is equal to zero it means there is no node in the list now what you will do you will simply do head is equal to you can say tail is equal to new node because we are maintaining both head and tail here so now head is also containing whatever the value in new node that is 200 so head is containing 200 so head is pointing to this node as well as this is the first node as well as the last node so tail is also 200 tail is also going to point here fine but one more thing now in circular link list the last node would contain address of the first node so in this case this is the last node this is the first node so here we cannot leave it like this here we cannot say that it is zero so here before closing this if you will write what tail of next it means tail of next this part this part will contain address of first node so address of first node is 200 only from where i can get 200 new node is having 200 so here you will write new node this is the extra line you will write when you are creating a circular linked list right now we have inserted first node now i want to insert second node so after inserting first node this is the list now i want to insert this node i have created one more node using the by uh, you know running the same code one i want to insert here i have stored zero see now if head is equal to is equal to null but head is not null it means we have something in the list list is not empty so we are not going to do this thing now what you will do in else part what you will write see now you have to change what this node this point this node will point to this node that is why here we will store address of the next node fine second thing you will update what the tail would, would point here because now this is the last node right third thing what you will update this is the last node so here this pointer will contain address of the first node that is here we will store 200 three things you will have to update fine now how you will write this thing see so now first of all you need to update this pointer we cannot change this tail first of all we will update this thing after that after then we will uh, update this tail pointer because if first at first only you will update this tail now tail is equal to new node that is 100 tail is pointing to here right now how we can access this node although it is the first node so we have a head pointer but suppose it is the second node and this is the third node 
so head will point always to the first node so we cannot change tail first first of all we will change this part so here what you will write tail of next tail of next is equal to 100 i want to store here is equal to new node right so here now i have 100 so this is now going to point here second thing we are going to update now this tail so now tail is equal to new node right in tail also we have 100 now so now tail is also pointing to this node third thing you have to update this thing now this will contain address of the first node so now here what can i write tail of next i can write tail of next is equal to now here i want to store ad, in here i want to store the address of the first node and where i have address of the first node always the head pointer is going to contain this thing so we can write here head fine see here also new node if you write new node that is also fine but here also you can write what head it would be better if you write head because always head is going to contain address of the first node so simply you can write head now see the benefit of this thing right uh, benefit of writing head here is what both in if and else this is the same statement tail next head tail next is equal to head so rather than writing it twice you can write this statement after this else block here i can write after this closing this else block here i can write tail of next is equal to head and no need to write here and no need to write here so that is also fine because if after if block also this is going to be executed after else block also this statement is going to be executed that is why rather than new node it is better to write here head right so now here tail next tail next is equal to head means here i am going to store 200 so now this is pointing to this node and that is fine this last node is going to point to the first node this is the circular list right so you can insert as many nodes as you want simply by writing that logic logic only here you can write printf do you want to continue you can say press 1 for continue and press 0 for exit in scanf you can uh, take your choice the user's choice and for taking this you can declare you can initialize a variable here choice is equal to 1 right and if user will press 1 then a new node would be created right so these statements would be executed again and again so here before this thing i can write while choice right or if you are not comfortable with this while loop then you can use for loop also right initially we, you can take uh, from the user how many nodes the user wants to insert and suppose user enters 10 node i want to insert in the linked list so you can run the for loop from the node 2 to uh, 10 right and here if you want to check if this pointer has been set properly or not then how you can check here before closing this this uh, bracket of this function after this while loop you can check you can write what printf percentage d and what you can write tail of next means tail next this thing and arrow data in printf you can write percentage d and after that you can write this thing it means it should print 7 it means you can say this link has been set properly this is a circular list now right so now this is how you can create a circular list and maintain both head and tail pointer now in this case i have told you no need to maintain head pointer only by maintaining tail pointer you can create a circular link list as well as you, you can perform the operations in search and deletion and all other operations so now how to create a link list only by maintaining a tail pointer we will see that thing so as you can see here i have only one pointer that is trail pointer and tail pointer is having null at starting we are not having head so here i will write what tail is equal to zero fine only few changes would be there remaining part would be same so now we have created this node right the same syntax would be there we have entered data seven and here i have inserted zero now new node pointer is pointing to this node now here you will check if tail is equal to is equal to zero in that case what you will do we are not having this head pointer right so now if tail is equal to zero it means we don't have any uh, node in the list so now we are going to point tail is equal to this one right we are going to set this link so here we will store 100 
right so now we'll we'll write what tail is equal to new node new node is having 100 so tail is equal to new node so this link has been set second thing now this is the first node also and the last node also so the last node will contain address of the first node fine so here what you need to write this tail of next here i want to store this 100 right so tail next is equal to new node so here i will write tail next is equal to new node right now in else part now suppose i have inserted one node and now i have created another node second node and data i have inserted by using this same uh, coding seven six and here i have inserted zero now the new node is pointing obviously to this node suppose address is 500 so here new node we have 500 right and after doing this part here we have 100 so this is now pointing to itself only right now i want to insert the second node now how you can insert this thing in else part what you will write see here you have to update this thing also because this is the last node and this node will contain address of the first node that is here you will store 100 right and the tail would be updated tail would point here now right as well as you have to update this link this this node this link would contain address of the next node that is here we will update 500 so these three things you have to do but here you have you have to take care of one thing because see here we will insert address of the first node in the previous node we are we were maintaining head pointer so we can get the address of the first node always in the head pointer we don't have to take care of anything we know that the head is going head pointer is having address of the first node but here we don't have any head node so you have to take care of that thing so first of all we will update this pointer here i want to store address of the first node right and address of the first node is 100 from where i can get this 100 here i have 100 before updating this thing so here what you will write how you can access this part new node next and here i want to store address of the first node that is 100 here i have 100 how you can access this part the pointer to this node is tail so tail of next tail of next now here i have 100 and now this is now pointing to this node right now we will update what we will update this thing how you can access this part tail of next so here i will write tail of next is equal to address of the next node that is 500 in new node i have 500 here i can write new node so now here i have 500 and now this link is there third thing we have to update this tail pointer because this is the last node now so here one third thing you will write and now tail is equal to new node in tail we have new node that is 500 so now tail is pointing to this node and that is done now suppose we have created third node and i want to insert third node here right so if tail is equal to is equal to zero this condition is not true because tail is not ha now having address of this node last node right so now we are going to enter into the else part so in else part what you will write new node next what we have written new node next means new node next here i'll store tail of next tail is pointing to this node tail next is 100 see here i i guess you have noticed that in the tail next pointer always we will get address of the head node right so no need to uh, maintain the head node because from here i can get the address of head node but before updating this part we will update this thing because this is the only way we can get the address of the first node so first of all we will take this address and we will write that address here that is why new node next is equal to tail next tail next is 100 so here i have 100 right now this is the last node and this is now pointing to this node right now we can we can update this thing this this will, will contain address of the next node so in tail next tail next we are con we are having we will assign new node that is 150 so here 150 so now this is pointing to this node third thing you have to update tail also tail is equal to new node that is 150 so now tail is not pointing to here tail is now pointing to this node and this is the circular link list here we are maintaining only the tail pointer 
see as you have noticed in the previous case you have we will update this pointer if tail is equal to if there is no node in the list if head is equal to 0 then also we are going to update this link if head is not 0 then also we are going to update this link so that line we have written after this if and else block but here I cannot write this line tail next is equal to new node tail next is equal to new node after this else block why so because see in this else block before this line this line is going to be executed and if you write this line after the else block in that case what will happen when control will enter into the else block then first of all this line would be executed right after that tail is equal to is equal to tail is equal to new node so after that suppose here i want to insert this thing tail is equal to new node means 150 now tail is pointing to this node right and we haven't updated this thing tail next is equal to new node means we haven't updated this thing right this is we haven't set this pointer so now after that if you write tail next is equal to new node it means tail next you are accessing this node right and that is not correct because we want to access this part we want to insert here the address of the next node that is why i am writing here in the else part only this line right same we will apply this while loop and uh, if you want to print this thing after this while loop tail next and data tail next this and data is equal to the 7 would be printed so see it's not like that this is the only way you can create a circular linked list maybe you can apply your own logic and you can create a circular linked list right now if we have only a tail pointer then how you are going to traverse the circular linked list so now this is the circular linked list we have created we have maintained a tail pointer here and now i want to traverse the list i want to display the content that is 1 2 and 3 but here i don't know from where the list is going to be started because we have a pointer to the last node only we don't have any pointer to the first node right how we can come to know that which one is the first node see i have told you in this case always the tail next right tail of next means 150 this is going to be stored the address of the first node in the circular list right so tail next we have 150 so from where i can come to know that the address of the first node is 150 that is this one right so we'll take another pointer temp and we will assign temp is equal to tail of next so we are going to start from here now so here i'll take another pointer that is temp and you can also check if tail is equal to is equal to zero it means here you can print list is empty in else part what we will do first of all we will assign see we will write what temp is equal to tail of next so here we have another pointer temp which is going to contain whatever the value in tail next in tail next in tail we have 200 so using this pointer we can access we can reach till this address tail next means here that is 150 so in temp we have 150 it means this is the first node we are pointing to the first node now right so now we are going to print this data and we will move this temp here then we will print this one this one then we will move temp, we will uh, move temp here and then we will print this data where the termination condition is what where you want to stop this while loop see the only thing is we don't have any null condition the only thing is here the tail next is having the address of the first node always right so when the temp next once we reach here once temp become this part so now the temp next means 150 right temp next now is same as tail of next that is 150 and we know that the tail next is always containing the address of the head node it means we have reached to the last node so in the while loop what you will write while temp of next not equal to tail of next till then we are going to move we are going to print this data so here you can write printf percentage d temp of data and you will move the temp temp is equal to temp next so now you can check the working of this while loop see at starting temp is equal to tail of next that is 150 temp is pointing to this node so now temp of next not equal to tail next temp next means temp of next means 100 100 is not equal to tail next because tail next is 150 so condition is true so we will enter into the this loop 
we are going to print the data temp of data that is one would be printed now temp is equal to temp next in temp next we have 100 so now in temp we have 100 we are going to move this temp now now temp is pointing to this node again check temp next temp of next is 200 200 is not equal to tail next tail next is 150 yes condition is true so again enter into the loop print temp of data that is 2 would be printed and now temp is equal to temp next that is 200 so here we are stored we will store 200 so now temp is pointing to this node right now check the condition temp of next now temp next means 150 and not equal to tail next tail next is also 150 but this condition is not true it means now if temp of next is equal to tail of next it means we have reached till the last node to the last node right so now we are not going to enter into the loop the uh, this the control will go out from the loop and whatever the statement written here that would be executed now the problem is we have displayed only one and two we are left with one this data so now after this what you can write you can write printf percentage d and temp of data right so now temp is pointing to this node temp data means three now three would be printed and now you can close this display function right so this is how you can traverse a circular linked list if we have if we have maintained only one pointer that is tail pointer right so we have discussed all the options of creating a circular linked list by maintaining head only by maintaining both head and tail and by maintaining only the tail pointer then how to and how to display uh, the circular linked list right and if you here don't use this while loop then you can write this do while loop because if you don't want to uh, print this uh, the last node separately then what you can do rather than using a while loop you can do what you can use do while loop so here don't use this while loop here write what do fine and in do first of all the this data the statement would be executed and after that the condition would be checked so after here uh, you can write while and now what you can write temp not equal to tail of next in that case no need to write this line after this loop in this case if you use this while do while loop then one two three would be printed so here i am not going to trace out this do while loop you trace out you will trace out this do while loop is it working properly or not is the output is one two three or not without writing this line here fine and tell me in the comment box it is working properly or not right so i'll see you in the next video now till then bye bye take care